Thank you, Kimta, for joining. A very good morning to your brothers and sisters. Good morning. Looks like you'll take out all my things. Well, today my sermon is, is on faith. Just now, Brother Kimta has read that all parts of the scriptures were in verse 31. Uh, Therefore, take no part saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or with Peter shall we be clothed? For Heavenly Father knows that you have need of it. But in our verse 30 before that, who oh, you know, in the faith? Uh, please write your hymn book to your song encouragement 97. 97 that you will sing after the sermon. I do not have faith in Microsoft. That's why I have to print it out. So we have to know where our faith is and in. In my course of learning Chinese language, I have come to come across this particular Chinese words. I started off in this. Yeah. Then later on, you know the there's another word? It's run, there's man. <laughs> but actually because before this actually uh, Chinese words changed from uh, different things. Actually before these particular words come from another Chinese words, but the, it's because of the Chinese belief, the more you speak, the more mistakes you make. That's why they change it to a simplified form. But this particular word is very interesting in the sense that it means that you must uh, stand, standing by your words, what you say you must do. That's why it comes to the, the same thing called the meaning of belief, trust. So today I'm going to focus on this subject on faith. Just now we have uh, gone through scripture reading Matthew chapter 6 verse 30 to 34. Carol said, many of us do worry. There's so much to worry. Worry what to wear, what to eat, you know, what to drink. There's so many things that we have to worry about. And I believe uh, in, in our midst, we have so many uh, uh, brothers who are, our sisters who are having sickness, they also worry. Okay, just like Brother Hansen, after they have to travel down for treatment, sister may be worried about the results of uh, uh, examinations. Okay, uh, students worry about the school results, you know, whether uh, they can do better and all this and that. People we have so much worry, but it tells us that uh, we must have faith in God in whatever things to do, otherwise we are considered as a little thing. Okay? We must not be afraid. Let's turn to the book of um, Matthew again. Matthew chapter 14, another part of the Gospel of Matthew and see what is it all about. Matthew chapter 14, verse 26 to 31. Matthew chapter 14, verse 26 to 31, he reads in this manner. And when the disciples saw him, the disciples saw Jesus. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, there was trouble, saying, He is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. <coughs> but immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, his eye, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it's you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. And when Peter had come down on the boat and walked the water to go to Jesus, but when he saw the wind was monstrous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and cried and said to him, Oh, you are little faith. Why do you doubt? So this particular passage tells us that at times you can have faith, but you can also be doubtful when you start to uh, become afraid, when you have doubt in our Lord Jesus Christ, when you have doubt in, uh, in God, then you can be afraid. Just like here, Peter 
as you can walk on the sea, you know, Jesus, but because of doubt, he sank. You know? So it's because of being afraid. It's because we do not have faith. So even uh, last uh, evening fellowship, one of our sister, our sister Peggy was a bit worried, being so stressed. Say that uh, Brother Roger came up coming on weekdays. Wow. It's a very stressful time. During the day, it's very difficult to invite people to come for the gospel meeting. But it's also part of faith. Huh? When I was compared to Sister Ayla, Sister Ayla received the SMS from uh, Brother Ingun. Oh, Brother Roger can be coming over this part. Do you want to take him? Brother uh, Sister Ayla said, go ahead. Huh? So, he tells the difference between one and my faith. Never bother what day, as long as gospel preacher comes. Hey. Compared to one who is very better that night, three nights during weekdays, will there be people coming to hear the message? We must not have uh, worry or fear. We just need to do our parts. Just believe, okay, and do it. Let's uh, see uh, from another part of the book, Matthew, Matthew chapter nine. Matthew chapter nine tells different uh, parts. This now was people with little faith. Matthew chapter 9, verse 20 to 22. And then this uh, passage talk about this woman who is uh, having great faith. Matthew chapter 9, verse 20 to 22. And suddenly a woman who had a flow of blood for 12 years came from behind and touched the hem of his garment. For he said to herself, If only I may touch his garment, I shall be made well. But Jesus turned around and when he saw her, he said, You are good cheers. Daughter, your faith has made you well. And the woman was made well from that hour. You see, this woman had so much faith in her that she believed just as you know, in the hands of Jesus, she can be made well. Although she had this illness for more than uh, about 12 years. Isn't that it's a long time of infirmity and yet she has this faith in Jesus? Do we have faith? Or are we the one that's a little faith? We must have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. We must have faith. Faith does affect our lives. If we were to tell you, oh, due to H1N1, there's one body came back from US sitting beside you and sneezing. Oh, everybody running out from the church. That shows no faith in God. <laughs> isn't, isn't that true? So if you have faith in God, do you think such thing will happen? Should it shouldn't do <clears throat> If we don't have faith, even when we drive, we are worried to know in front the uh, driver will just simply come out or not. No, we, we can't even drive properly. We, we don't even uh, uh, have that uh, calm feeling to drive. Okay? Like Brother Hansen is going to drive down all the way to your home. Brother Ever, you sure you can drive? Uh, so, but Brother Hansen said, yes. You can okay, so drive down. We must have faith. Faith does affect our lives a lot. If we do not have uh, faith, then we need to do something. That's why this person uh, try to help one of us to uh, Increase and uh, strict strength to increase our faith. Turn to the book of Matthew. Okay, book of Matthew chapter 17. In our passage, Matthew chapter 17. verse 18 to 21. There's another passage here talking about uh, faith. Sometimes if you want it to be effective, you need to include what? That's faith. Matthew chapter 17, verse 18 to 21. 